Well, hello everyone. I'm here at the Kennedy Subway Station on the Line 2 platform. Yeah, you could tell trains are probably gonna have to move slow in between Kennedy and Warden, judging by those judging by those track lights, because usually that's a warning symbol. Wow, that train's gonna leave right away. Dude, I didn't expect it to happen. I mean, I just got off the train. Doesn't the train usually just sit there for like five minutes or so? I, I just got off and it's already leaving. Okay, let's watch this train go. Okay, there's an, there's an office right there. But I'm not gonna film the inside of the office. But uh, yeah, that's usually the warning signal, meaning there's, meaning the train has to move slow. So the time right now, 11.36, this actually shows the true time. I'm actually about to head on the Line 3 SRT, but um, I thought I'd do a station tour first. That being said, happy Monday, everyone. Station, this station looks a little creepy because you see those red, the red wall here? Kipling Station used to look like this, except it was green. And then they renovated it, and now Kipling Station has the white wall instead of the green one. But it used to, it used to have the, like those green stripes, just like this one, except green. But the fact it's red, it makes the station look like a firehouse. By the way, they're doing some construction here. I haven't filmed the station tour in so long and I don't normally do it. But I think it makes more sense to do a station tour this right here. I mostly do a station tour around in subway stations, in big subway stations like this one. But, um, you know, I did do a station tour in at Wilson, but You know, that was, like, the only time I remember it. Because Wilson's huge, has a yard. Now, as you can see, the track here continues, just like any other terminal station, except they're actually extending Line 2, and it's going to go north towards Shepherd East. Oh, I think there's, there might be an, I hear, I heard a train hawking its horn, so that means there's another one coming, but the train's gonna continue right around here, and it's gonna go north towards Shepherd East. I just don't like the fact that this platform is red, because it just, it's creepy, it makes the station look like a firehouse. Kipling is nicer, because it has, because, you know, it's outside, kind of. Wait, hold on a second. Did he just say line three has, has no service? That's actually where I'm heading. I've got, okay, we've got a couple of NG hybrid buses because the, these are the Malvern routes and the Malvern routes stop here. Divisions that you're gonna, d division routes you're gonna see include, include Birchmount, Eglinton, Wilson, McNichol. No, I, not Wilson, uh, Malvern. there is somebody on the train, so maybe it is in service. There's this narrow walkway in between 
the window and the staircase and you can watch the buses from here there's there's the exit the station ex entrance and exit oh my gosh my nose is kind of itchy or i feel like there's something on my nose and it's allergy season but it's very hard against my feels very harsh against my throat this it's a uh, sinus congestion or whatever I'm having. So that's basically the en the elevator and the entrance and exit. And that's where the parking lot is. And there's the, the Kennedy Go station where the Stouffville line is. You know, kind of remind that kind of reminds me. I actually pointed everything, all this stuff out when I was here on August 5th, 2022. Okay, it says do not enter, but I'm not gonna enter there. But you got a pretty good view here. I think I could see Young and North York from here. You know what, I think I'm gonna go through the train. There we go. Normally when I board the, the RT train, I usually board it from the other side. Okay, I think he said that, that the shuttle buses are gonna be running because line three is closed. I mean, but line three can't be closed. I just saw, there's a train in the station. I saw somebody on. Okay, this one says exit and trains. Now this bus here goes towards Toronto Zoo. It's, it's probably gonna be quite a long ass ride on the 86 bus because it goes towards Scarborough Zoo. Although I'm not sure if the 86 has an express route. I, it might, but if it does, I'm not sure if the if there's an express bus that goes to not to Toronto Zoo. I know there's the regular 86 that goes towards Toronto Zoo, but you know it's gonna be a long ass ride because Toronto Zoo is like in the north east end of the city. Okay, I I was gonna say I missed the old livery on the Scarborough RT, but not so much because the current livery on all RT cars are blue and as I've explained, blue is my favorite color. So I think I like the blue livery better. <laughs> oh yeah, there is a shuttle bus. Well, I'm, that's a little bit of a pity for me because I was actually gonna go to McAllen Station hear the sound of the RT moving so I don't know I don't know what's going on now I honestly don't know there's the direction that'll take you towards the go station Let's get out of here real quick. I'm still in the two hour window, so I can get back on. I don't think I'm gonna have to pay three times, but I am gonna have to pay at least twice. Wow, look at that electric bo electrical box. It's so full blown with the wires. And because this is a long tunnel, I can hear my voice echoing. Okay, so I think they're actually building an elevator here. I don't think it is open, but um, 
that elevator is going to take you towards the Kennedy Go Station. And here I am, but uh, this is like the east side e exit, but this exit basically just takes you to the GO station. But, but really, I mean, when I actually boarded the GO train from here, um, I actually got, got, I didn't come out this way, you know, I actually did use this entrance once, but but that was when I was coming home from Asian court. But when I went to Markville Mall or Stouffville, White Church, Stouffville, I was, is that an EpiPen on the ground? Looks kind of like it. But anyways, I boarded the GO train from the other side. Like, I didn't board the GO train from here. I boarded it from the other side of the platform. Now, this here is going to be the brand new LRT station. Now, this... Surprisingly enough, this station was never called Eglinton East, even though Eglinton East is the name of the neighborhood. But it makes sense because Kennedy is, like, on Kennedy Road. And Kennedy Road is a major street. But this is where the brand new LRT station is. They do have plans to extend Line 5 east. And they're already extending it west. But, uh, you know, the first they're going to go with the original plan. They're going to open it from Mount Dennis towards Kennedy. And then they'll, ex and then they'll keep working on their west extension. Although, I don't think they, they have started extending it east yet. But I know there are plans to do it. It's a community center. I did not know that. Okay, and I haven't discovered this walkway yet. I mean, I've never walked through this, this corridor. Okay, now the vibe is kind of changing. It's kind of giving me the hospital vibe now. I don't know why, but for some reason it is. Like, I think if you want to board the GO train from, like, the other side of the platform, like the one I was just showing you, you have to, like, come out this entrance. But when I was taking the GO train on November 22nd, 2020, no, November 28th, 2021, and... August 18th, 2022. I boarded it from the other side, which I'm actually about to head up to right now. This here takes you to passenger pickup. So I, I don't know, I find the station is so much like Kipling Station because you know, I find this one and, and Kipling Station have something in common because number one, they're the both they're both terminal stations, and number two, they they have a passenger pickup like this one. And the and it has a GO station as well, just like just like Kipling. So yeah, Kennedy and Kipling definitely have something in common.
Oh look, we got pigeons here. Okay, they're they're actually gonna close the the south wall. They're gonna close it permanently. Spring 2023. That's now. Really? They're going to construct another bus terminal? Well, where? Wait. It says here, south parking lot. Well, which is the south lot? Okay, this is the south lot here, but why do you need a second bus terminal? We already have one. I mean, are they going to... Maybe they're going to build a, a bus terminal for the GO buses. Maybe there's going to be GO buses here. I don't understand why you need a, a duplicate bus terminal if you've already got one right here. It's, it's big enough already. Anyhow, so this is, this is the custom pathway to the GO station. But why is the arrow pointing the other direction? It's, it's this way. It should be pointing in this direction, the one I'm heading to right now. I mean, I understand that there's now another platform, but no elevator for access east platform pedestrian tunnel. This is a little confusing. Oh, this platform is closed. Okay, so basically, if you want to take the GO train, you have to... So nowadays, if you want to take the GO train from here, you can't board it from this side of the platform like I did those couple of times, okay? You now have to, I think due to platform construction, you now have to board the GO trains on the other side. It says plat platform is closed. Okay, so basically there's a dead end here. But I wonder where this path is gonna take you to. But you can no longer board the GO trains from here. And now you have to board it on the other side. But it's actually going to interline with uh, the, the Line 5 LRT. So that way you can actually get off the LRT then change from the GO to the GO trains right away because the exit to the L the entrance to the LRT station is just over there where the GO trains are. Okay, can I cross? Oh, I almost. I don't like how the sidewalk is leveled. It it makes you trip. Okay, so there is a shuttle bus on the on the on the route right now. Okay, I think I can cross from here. I don't see why I can't cross. So really, I have to take a shuttle bus from to get to McCallum Station. The shuttle bus doesn't even look that crowded because it's not. It's Monday. Most people are working. Well, if I'm going to go to McCallum Station, then how on earth am I supposed to... Where, is, where do I board the shuttle bus? Well, you know what? I don't even like the Line 3 anyways. It's too loud. Like, the RT cabs are just so loud, and... So it doesn't really bother me that much. But we've got... That's an NG Hybrid bus running on the Line 3. Running on the Line 3 shuttle bus route. Thing with shuttle bus routes, any bus from any division can run on any shuttle bus route. And there's another entrance to the LRT station. So if you want to walk off the street to get into the LRT station, you you um, you come in through this way. But if you want to go to the GO train station, you board from the other direction. And there's the other side, and you can actually see me in the reflection right there. You can see me waving.
So anyways, why waste time? I'm gonna get myself back on. Gonna get back on the subway. But I'm gonna take the stairs this time. Oh, there's the elevator coming up. Well, I could take it if I wanted to, but I kind of want to take the stairs right now. Okay, where's my, where's my Presto card? Oh, oh, here it is. station's pretty big, no wonder it took me over 20 minutes to film this video. Okay, so I'd like to thank you all for watching, so if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos coming your own way. Peace out.